Hi, everybody. Welcome. We're on part two on this Wednesday afternoon. I'm going to do a little live stream for you today. Um, you may have caught yesterday's, which I said I would be back here today. So yesterday, I went over everything that I needed to do for cleaning and getting this piece completely ready. Now, what I don't usually have to do is I don't usually have to do a lot of sanding or prepping um, with the DIY clay-based paint. Um, but with this piece, it has seen some days. I'm just going to tell you, it has seen, it's lived in a lot of families, a lot of houses, and it has, it's been rough. So I just pulled it outside and sanded off the entire top, which I did definitely need to do with this piece. Um, there are nicks and scratches and scrapes that I leave. I actually like that look more than a clean polished finish. Um, so just to, um, Say hello to all of you that are popping on. I'm Dion Woods with the Turquoise Iris, and I'm going to paint this with you guys and pop on here a little bit every single day. And um, last week and the week before, I did a huge wardrobe that I nicknamed Carnival, and um, I started with yellow, which is a queen bee color from DIY Paint. Now, it... Um, was the color I started with and then I finished it around I put it in all like the little nicks and crannies in and then I sealed it with a wax um, so I'm going to use all of the exact same colors that I did for that wardrobe because I loved the way that it looked but I want to want to thank you guys thank you so much for saying hello and hi and for the thumbs up over on YouTube so um, we are a little bright I apologize to um, Facebook and YouTube because it's really bright, but you look perfect over here on Instagram. So I apologize for that, guys. So Carnival was a huge wardrobe I did. I painted it for you guys in eight different sections. It's on YouTube now, but I want to do this piece in the exact same colors, but I'm going to apply them all differently. So I started with yellow on that one, and we're going to start with red today. Um, I actually have, we have two reds, but this one's Carnival Red. Carnival Red is the more orangey red, whereas Marquee Red is our bluish red, if that makes any sense to you. Um, thank you for saying that wardrobe is beautiful. It was definitely my absolute favorite piece I've ever done. And I've never, I don't know if I've ever said that about a piece, but that wardrobe was, and uh, the very, it's just was perfect for me. Like it, I just really, um, it really spoke to me and I absolutely love it. And I'm so proud of it. So it's actually on its way to Florida right now. Guys, um, we're going to use all the same colors, but I want to show you. So Let's just say you had all those colors and you want to do a completely uh, new piece, but you want to change it up a little bit. So the finished look is going to be different, but we're going to use the same colors. At least that's my plan to date right now. I change as I go, but top has been completely sanded. Just got all sandy and dusty and everything. Um, we're going to start with Carnival Red today. So let's do it. Okay, so I have my Paint Pixie number 12. It's just a large oval brush that's rounded. Um, hi, guys. Hello. It's, it's raining. It's raining. So I have the door up. It's a really pretty, it, you know, it feels really good. Um, but it's we're getting more rain here in Oklahoma, um, which is not what we're needing. I'm in the Oklahoma City metro area, really far south of it, actually. So all of, I love this bead trim right here. Like I, I love all of that, but I really want to get down in the grooves with this red. So I am going to grab my French tip and actually I'm going to grab, um, where is it? Well, I was going to grab the little Frenchie, but I don't see it hanging over on my brush wall. So that's interesting. Hmm. Who took my little Frenchie? Who oh, looked my little Frenchie? Anyway, this is a French tip. And see how it's a little bit of a point? So what I'm going to actually do is use this now instead of I shouldn't have started with that. Um, I'm going to tip that and get it all in this little beaded trim because I am going to seal that with a clear wax. So when this entire makeover is all said and done, we'll be able to still see this red down in this groove. Now, there's not going to be a whole lot of red on this piece, but we're going to still see it peeking through. So I'm, this is a perfect brush to get in all of these grooves. You 
and you guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I promise I'll go back and, and look through all the comments and stuff. And Yesterday I did this and someone said, what paint do you use? So I use DIY paint from Debbie's Design Diary. It's a heavy um, clay-based paint that's all natural with no VOCs. And pretty much will stick to anything. It's just, it's, um, well, it's just my favorite. So for those that ask, that's my favorite. So I'm just getting all in there, which this brush did not do that. It just kind of skimmed over the top of those beads. And I want to get in there really well. Okay. Okay. It also is really good to get up underneath the trim too. So I can get up underneath here easier because of the pointed tip. All right. I don't know that Instagram can see this over here. Sorry about that. Why was the top sanded, Karen? It was covered in like sticky I don't know it was bad I don't know what they did on top of this dresser or what they were using it for but it's all off now and now it's just as beautiful as it can be and then there was a section that had really heavy varnish so I don't know if it just hadn't worn off or they had tried to fix it or what but it was just easier and then in 10 minutes I had the whole thing cleared off so it was just it was easier for me to do that I don't usually um, buy dressers when they're in bad shape as far as like this is a solid piece of wood um, but the beautiful detail and trim on this there's no way I could not get this piece so for 10 minutes of sanding I went ahead and went for it even though you don't usually have to do that with DIY so I'm just using this French tip all around these these beautiful trim pieces and I'm going to use it around the hardware, too, because I'm going to come back with some clear wax and seal all of this. So it's going to look like a stinking hot mess. And you're going to think, good goobity goo, this girl sitting over here in this room is crazy. And I'm OK with you actually thinking that, but it won't stay that way, I promise. If you missed the makeover that I did last week, it was on a very large wardrobe. It's on Facebook and on um, YouTube. My YouTube and you, uh, Facebook name is the Turquoise Iris, Dion Woods. You can watch all of those videos on playback. You can fast forward. But we're going to do the exact same colors for this piece. Just apply them in a different order. I want to show you how to get two different looks from using the exact same colors. Because I thought it sounded fun. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. It's supposed to be going to a ball game here in a few minutes. But my goodness, it's raining. And it's cold. This weather is crazy. Okay. Before I pop off of here, I'll read your questions. I'll go back and read them, okay? I took the hardware off of these top drawers because I wanted a real smooth finish up here, but I left them here because I'm going to make them look antiqued and put like a, um, a copper finish on them. Okay. Okay. Guys, you're not going to see this. I hope you realize that. You're not going to see all of this mess. 
Um, there's going to be layers and layers and layers of colors. My guess is I'm going to be doing about five, six, seven different parts to get this piece to the finished look. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do this little piece down here. It's like a little, the little fan applique and highlight this down here. But this French tip helps me get it down in all the little grooves. I know that Facebook you're not seeing very well. Hang on. Sorry for the hand in the face. Woo, y'all hear that thunder? Lord of mercy. Woo, I got to go driving that on the highway. The teenager is already on the highway driving to go play baseball. Okay, we're just doing all of this. And the next color that I'm going to come in with is going to be my coral, my cowgirl coral, if you're familiar with the DIY colors. Otherwise, it's just a warm, beautiful coral. If you use a different paint line, I'll show you what the color is. Um, I had a lady tell me yesterday that she wanted to follow along. So I want to make sure I give all of the information to you. Um, okay, so this is the one I'm going to start with next. Oopsies. Now, while this is drying, I'm going to pop off of here, but I'm going to come back in with our clear wax and I'm going to seal all of this red here because when I start applying water and doing all the different techniques that I do, I want to make sure, um, I want to make sure that it stays in there. So when I do all the different things, this little red deep down in these little trinket areas here are going to stay. So I will continue to be able to see those. Um, and then the top, we will probably do just a solid surface, solid color. But anyway, I'm looking forward to doing this. I'm looking forward. It's going to change as we go. And um, for those of you that are watching with me, I appreciate you. And if you're watching the replay, the shares and um, just kind of throwing it out there saying, actually, the best part about these videos is that you don't have to watch them right now. You know, you can just come back and watch it later, but if you share it or just put it on your own page in your own, um, what am I trying to say? <sighs> what am I trying to say guys? Um, you can watch it later, but it's easier to find when you do do that because you can go back and see it later. But anyway, um, so can you paint like this in any weather? It dries well. Yes. As you can see, this is already dry. The sections up here are already dry. See the difference? I can rub my hand across all of this and it's all dry. So that was already on there. <laughs> but yeah, it's dry. So um, the DIY paint, the water evaporates. It's extremely porous, so the water evaporates pretty quickly. Um, so let me see if there are any comments. I don't see any here or questions. Thanks, you guys. Y'all are helping me. On your timeline, Charlotte Hodge. Thank you, dear. All right. So you paint like this in any weather. That waxing step was the last big step wardrobe. On the last. Yes. Yes. I sealed in the yellow. Michelle, thank you for all the hearts, honey. Um, oh, yes. You guys, thanks for being here. Great, Terry. Um, Kathy, I am. I am. I'm streaming three different devices while we speak. After you use wax, do you use a top coat or just wax? Christina, in this process, I'm just going to use a wax, and then we'll start with some more paint. I will finish this entire piece with multiple colors of wax, um, but I'm doing step-by-step, day-by-day, so I can do it on film for all of you guys as well, so you can follow along. You guys, go have an awesome afternoon, and even though it's lightning and thunder, I'm going to jump in the car and go find a baseball game. So I'm expecting it to get called, but we'll see. They haven't called it yet. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm not certain what time, probably around the same time of day. So I appreciate you all. Thanks for being awesome, and thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes.